Hi Capricorn, this is Just with your November 2018 reading. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So Capricorn, um, hard work, hard work, uh, planning, uh, strategizing, manipulating, uh, sh- um, really using everything that you have to get what you want. For some of you, it's coming to fruition now my voice sounds a little deeper than normal i apologize uh, but let's just keep going it looks like some of you have definitely been working really hard keeping your head down make sure you can try to get some rest because it looks like it's at a point of exhaustion you may have tired yourself out you may feel like you don't even have enough energy so be very careful with that some of you may be trying to um, balance your books. You've lost money. Now you have to work and maybe work overtime to pay something off to get, you know, um, balance with something. You may want to, you know, clean your, um, banks, your bank books by the end of the year. Um, by the return of your birthday, you want to have all debts paid off. Um, you could be working to help someone in your home, someone in your life, um, I'm getting female energy, maybe in a financial crisis. So you kind of have to help be there for them. Uh, it seems like for some of you, it is amazing. Some of you literally have gotten a job. You may have been worried. You may have been down to your last couple of thousand dollars, a few hundred dollars, a few tens of dollars, and the job came in and it's at a distance and you guys are going to be the hell out of here come November. You are moving for your job and it's a pretty big deal. It could be a really good company, a very reputable company. You could be working for the federal, the state, local um, organization, but it's something that's very, very um, known, well-known, well-established, and it's going to be a really great fit, okay? Um, I feel like you are like the yin to the yang of the department, the company, the area in which you're going to be working. It'll be a really great fit. The only downside for some of you is that you're going to have to forego the festivities of November. Maybe a a family member's birthday could be some type of celebration, Um, could be the holiday season that we're um, experiencing in the month of November in the United States. But there is some type of event that could be going on that you can't even attend. It even may be that there's an event going on in your workplace that you can't attend because, again, there's something about I have to you know, do this before the quarter ends. I have to do this before the year end. I have to do this before I leave for vacation, before I leave to my next job. So before you move on, it's like something you have to do. And it will be foregoing, perhaps seeing your kids. I mean, you could be burning the candle on both ends um, and you don't see your kids hardly ever. Like you haven't, you don't know the last time you've seen your kids. Um, And you'll find that in the month of November, particularly toward the end of November, that it's paid off. All the hard work, all of the sacrifices has paid off. This is a very solid, concrete, my dreams are coming true. I no longer have to keep myself hidden away because everything I've set up is now in place and now I can kind of come to the party. Probably won't be until Christmas time or your birthday time, that sort of thing. But you're at the precipice. You're at the brink of exactly things happening the way you want. Now, of course, some of you say, well, that's not me. I'm not. Well, you may not have been working hard. You may not have set your sights on something and was so steadfast that now you see the results and the fruits of your labor. This is specifically for those of you who have, you know, put yourselves out there, who have came up with an idea and seen it all the way to the end who is now getting that phone call, who's getting the promotion, who's getting, you know, the invitation, who may, for some of you, it may even come as an opportunity that you didn't even work for. But just by the work that you previously put in, now something comes to you, okay? And that offer, again, will either get you out of this slump financially, or it makes you have to go at a distance. Okay, so there is some travel distance or getting away from the stress that... Perhaps you were dealing with prior. Okay. Um, This is a really great month. Again, getting into something new, it does rev you back up until now. I have to pull more hours. Some of you could be working 10 hour days. Uh, Some of you may be working 10 days straight. Uh, But again, it's paying things off. And I think that's the key. You guys are really seeing that 
you're seeing the whole picture. You're seeing the finish line. And that finish line is that I'm going to increase my revenue. I'm going to increase my salary. I'm going to be able to pay everything off. I'm going to reach my goals. And by the end of the month, it's no longer plaguing you or making you feel, feel as though, well, this is so much. It'll be like, now I see, I'm seeing the fruits of the labor and it's even that much more easier for me to do what I'm doing. Now, I feel like for some of you, it'll be by February 2019 is when you will actually culminate in whatever this end is in sight that you want to obtain, you'll have it February 2019. Now, as it relates to love, guys, because your reading is one of the easiest, which is good for me, um, it looks like some of you may be I see now I see plain as day a reconciliation for some of you. And I mean, it's obvious, right? Venus is retrograde. You will have this renewal, you know, um, sometime this month. There will be some form of a renewal. But you may like you may be on in one following one direction. But now it's like I can't even really move forward without dealing with this or without completing this, seeking this out, dealing with this is where I want to be. So some of you, there could have been someone, <clears throat> excuse me, who either wanted to invest in you, who wanted to start a relationship, but you're either moving or you're moving on from a typical type of way that you're relating in a relationship. Um, I do feel like a lot of you guys are being more self-focused and some of you are looking toward the past. You don't see it as, um, you know, a stressful, hurtful situation as you may have before. And you're even contemplating, should you reach out? Should you go see a person? Should you con meet, commit to a person? Could you connect with them? Could you, should you reconnect? Now, there's a lot of wanting external people, external to you, wanting to reconcile, wanting to give you their love, wanting you to give love to them. And I feel like mid-November, you're going to be going to, to visit someone. You may be going to visit an ex, someone that you were married to, someone that you want to commit to, someone that you're committed to. But I do see a travel to see someone regarding commitment. Um, it could have something to do with family. That's very important. That's what I'm seeing here. You may be considering, should I work on my family life or my family or this family? Should I work toward a family with this person? Do they have what it takes to, you know, um, for us to be able to build generational wealth? Because when you see family, that's what you see. You want to really have your retirement, money in the bank, everyone set, you know, a couple of dogs, a couple of, you know, um, you know, generations, the children, maybe grandchildren, like you see this life for yourself. And it is as if particularly Capricorn men, and this is may this may be how the man in your life, Capricorn women could perhaps could be feeling. They have an ideal, not an idea, but an ideal of what they want the next half of their life to be. Or even if you're approaching se uh, senior age or you are a senior Someone has an idea of how it should be, okay, or how they want it to be. And they're going to work as hard as they need to to get there. Um, someone could be working really hard to get back into your good graces, to get back with you. Uh, some of you may be moving on as well from a marriage, from a relationship. Um, some of you may even have been given some form of money or offer to settlement and you may say, no, no, thank you. I don't want that. Or you get your settlement and you move right along. OK, and now work and career becomes more of an importance for you. OK, there could be someone that you're working really hard to get back to. And you may say that, you know, I can't get to you right now because I'm working. I have all these things going on. But as soon as I'm done, I'm going to get back to you. OK, so for Capricorns this month, I, I don't see. November as a month, as I've seen in your, your, the previous sign, Sagittarius, where it could be one of kind of really ending things and still having balls juggling in the air. I see Capricorns being very sure, very concrete about what they want. 
and the direction that they're going in. And for some of you, if it is that person you're going back to, it's real simple. You're going back to that person. If it's someone that um, you're moving away from, you're definitely moving away from them. But there's a very clear picture of what you want and you have no problem going after it or moving past it or through it to get to what you want. So I would say that definitely this will be a crystal clear month for you. Now, for those of you who are single, it looks like there's definitely a lot of opportunities out there, concrete ones, people that really want to love you, love up on you. Uh, You'll just see that people are kind of, it's very easy for you to find someone, meet someone. You're very alluring at this time. I mean, I feel like there's going to be some travels that's coming up. Some of you could be um, going to a wedding, going to some type of festivities, and there you might meet someone while you're there, okay? Some of you are probably trying to, if you're single, avoid someone that's wanting to come back to you. Like, I don't want to deal with that. No, I don't want to. Or you may experience someone's avoiding you. But I feel toward the end of the month, for those of you who are single, you're going to be more self-focused. I just see Capricorns who are single being more into themselves, more into focusing on the growth of themselves and what around them they want to nurture and grow and build, okay? Because Taurus is more of the nurturer and grower and Capricorn is more of the builder. And um, so something you want to build, but it won't just be like the cold stuff, like I'll build a house. I want to build, like, it'll be more of, you know, I want a house because I want land so I can have the trees and the this and the that. So there's more of this focus on, you know, you, I don't necessarily see like there's a, a strong commitment. Some of you again may have that if you're single, it may be somebody you go to their family event and you're having a good time at their family event. And, um, I just see after that, you guys still being more focused on self. So if you're single, you may have a good time, but ultimately speaking, um, it's really all about you. Um, and that's going to be clear too in the month of November. So that's what I have for you guys for November. I hope this has been helpful. Um, like I said, really quick, um, I spent ridiculous amounts of time on Sagittarius and I was not about to do it again. So, um, and I don't think Capricorns need all of that. So, uh, definitely your reading is a very clear one and it looks really good. looks very strong, very concrete and empowering. Some great things is going to be coming up and whatever you've been working hard for and wishing it's coming to some of you that can resonate with this reading. So congratulations. If you would like to share with us how this resonates, please do so in the comment section below. You know, we love to hear from you. If you would like something personal with me, I can be reaching the beginning and into this video as well as the description box below. And if you're new to this channel, welcome and subscribe because I will be back very soon with another one. Take care, Capricorn.